Drivers, first of all, congratulations and you know, evaluate your team's performance, especially uh, coming back in the second half after about a 10 minute uh, you know, lag there where Dallas Baptist seemed to get their game going again. Yeah, we played against a good a quality opponent, but this was still one of our best games. We had a, got to a great start, which has been our recipe in the playoffs. Uh, with a ton of energy and we created chances and we got that early goal which really gave us a boost um, so we had a great first half and really set the table for what we wanted to do uh, but you got to give credit to Baptist they came out they had energy and they, and they got the goal back uh, and then it was just another quality performance by us you really saw our maturity uh, we have experienced players and, uh, and, and we did well of answering that goal and then getting the insurance goal we did Beginning of the season, the goal in mind of going to the Final Four, obviously, and going to Florida, and now your team's going to Florida. How, how does that feel for you and, and for the girls? That feels tremendous. Uh, I mean, we usually, in my coaching career, we don't really talk about big goals like that. We try to keep things on the task in the moment, but uh, despite my best efforts, these darn girls, they they had it in their mind they were going to do it, and look, we've done it, and, uh, and I couldn't be more proud of how they've represented themselves and the school and the team. Uh, than they have this season. Obviously, you have a team full of seniors uh, to go out like this, but uh, your, your big senior, Catherine, to come up with two goals and to answer like that, um, that basically, what does that say about her? her career? <laughs> Who else? It doesn't really surprise me, to be honest. She's, uh, she cares a lot about it, and uh, she prepares uh, really well, and, and she competes her hardest every single time. That's all you can ask for as a coach, and uh, it turned into two goals and a victory for us today. And Caitlin Dubanek in the first half, she she seems to have just shown up and turned into a great producer for you uh, dur during the playoffs from the GNAC championship on to now. You're totally right. You know, Caitlin had, we were just talking about that on the sideline. Caitlin's had the quality. We've, we've played her as an outside back. She was actually on the all-tournament team her freshman year in the Final Four as an outside defender. And now she's moved into this playmaking role for us in the attack and has really blossomed the second half of the season. And uh, she's on a tear right now. You get the Thanksgiving break here, a little time to recuperate, mend, you know, mend some uh, hurts that might be out there. What's your plan in keeping the team focused and keeping their eye on the prize in Pensacola? Yeah. It's, it's pretty easy, to be honest. The, they are a determined bunch, and they're an experienced bunch. It's so great. This time we've been there before. We know what to expect. We know how to prepare. And uh, so, uh, you know, they're going to – and our training staff and, and, and the support service has done a great job of keeping our girls healthy. So we're, we're ready. We're going to go and, and go to win this thing.